Hey everybody, John here. Welcome to my series, How to Use GMS. This is going to be the fourth and final video for this series. And today we're going to be diving into the effects section, which I think are really, really cool and very simple to use. And it's just a couple twists of some knobs and sliders and you can get something pretty cool out of it. So let's start with the default preset. Let's select here on number five at the default patch. And we're going to have a sine wave or a saw wave. So let's drag this down a little bit because this first one here is going to be distortion. So let's click this here and you, you might think, okay, I clicked it, but it's not going on. I hold it and I see this light. What you have to do is click glue to basically turn it off. This glue is an on off toggle for each of these effects. And this light will indicate that it's on, uh, that it's actually glued or turned on. So with this, we have this distortion. And for each of these, uh, these effects here, 10 in total, you're going to have two parameters for each one. So you're going to have a parameter X and a parameter Y. So, and it's labeled here for convenience to tell it what it does. So this first distortion, no distortion, and then you have full distortion. And this is gonna be the filter. Up here, we can hear that high end. Then we can hear it fade as well. And a really cool part of this plugin too is that these effects have a built-in LFO section that you can sync and you can have an amount slider here as well. So what that does, we have our distortion, but it's static. So let's say we drag this up. So it's basically pulsating with the LFO, this distortion effect right there. And we can change the speed right here as well. And it has the same sync option of beat and par as it does over here in the last video that we talked about with this sync section here. So same thing and also these same waveforms as well. So something to keep in mind. So let's unglue this here. And then next up, we have a bit crusher. This one's pretty cool because with this first parameter, you can drag this down and this is going to be the sample rate reduction. Let's glue this here. And you can just hear it crush the sound. And again, we have a filter up there as well. And anytime, if you ever want to preview these, you can always click inside here and it'll temporarily turn both of these on. And then you can go to your regular signal, click this and play with that effect as well. Next up, we have the flanger. This X is going to be the time. Or I guess depth. And then the feedback. If we want to pulsate that, and remember that all of these knobs here are automatable, so you can always create an automation clip to bring them into your playlist and automate them how you want them to sound. So very cool. Next up, we have a phaser. So let's turn this on here. So the depth and then the feedback. And just by looking down here, it does some wacky stuff. So that's kind of a really cool thing to see. And the next up, we have a low pass filter. So one in addition. And as before, this cutoff is basically going to be a very similar effect. And then we have the bandwidth. Another name for resonance. And then we can see how these ones at the edges there are a little bit more highlighted than these ones here. And then next up, we have a high pass filter. So the same thing if we would have gone to the high pass there. Now we got to glue it. Let's turn this off there. And again, with that resonance up, you can kind of see the edges there get accentuated a little bit. And then next up, we have echo, or known as delay. So the farther we turn this up to the right, we're going to get more delays or more feedback. And then over here is going to be the filter. And 
And then next up we have reverb. We have our pan here. And if you want to get somebody really sick, play that for five minutes and throw up. <laughs> And then next up, this is actually a really cool one, I think right here is Trance. So to kind of show the full effect of this one, let us add some voices here. So let's add seven voices. Let's add this uh, second oscillator, this side here, but let's have this up an octave. Spread them out a little bit. Kind of detune them. So we have kind of a super saw going. Let's get some reverb here. So in this trance area here, let's glue this and let's set something like one fourth here for a bar. And it is almost like a side chain. And we can always change the shape. So you can do a lot of crazy stuff with these effects here. I highly suggest you play around with them because you can come up with a lot of cool stuff. And also don't ignore the waveforms that come with this synth because there's a lot of cool ones and mixing these up and FMing and RMing them and adding 16 voices, which is ridiculous, and all these other settings and adding some noise to make it a little more analog style, modulate different things with the LFO, send the envelope to different places. There's a lot of possibilities that you could do and there's a lot of cool patches. And I also found too in the presets here there's actually really cool sounds and uh, what really helps to learn how if you like if you come across a patch that you really like let's say clown pop that can be really cool and kind of just see what the program is you kind of look okay this, so they have two squares um, it doesn't look like they're using a saw because this third oscillator is down they have a little more of this square wave the fine tuning has changed here it looks like they're using some ring modulation to about here uh, they have a filter and the cutoff is down here. They're using a low pass. So kind of just kind of go through and kind of reverse engineer some of these patches that you like and then maybe open up a fresh copy of GMS and try to make the same sound. You're going to learn that way much more than reading or watching videos such as this one is actually applying yourself and kind of changing knobs and seeing what everything does and how other patches sound and how they come to those different types of sounds. So this concludes this series. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in future videos.